Florida is one of the so-called coronavirus hotspots across the country. The state has 633 deaths and 3,800 hospitalized. Of those deaths, more than 260 are in Miami-Dade County and Broward counties. Across Florida, Miami Gardens was one of the first to urge residents to stay inside their homes, canceling the annual Jazz in the Gardens Music Festival at a time when people were still spreading the rumor that black people can't get the virus. Joining us now live tonight is the mayor of Miami Gardens, Mr. Oliver Gilbert III. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you all for having me. First up, how is your part of the country doing? Well, you know what? We're, we're making it through. We're trying to spread the word still as much as possible. People need to stay in their homes. They need to practice social distancing to the greatest extent possible. Uh, don't leave your house unless it's for essential reasons. I like to make the point that the virus doesn't drive cars or ride bicycles or it doesn't have tennis shoes. Wherever it goes, we take it. And if we bring it back home to our loved ones, it's us who did that. And so we need to understand that, understand the seriousness of, of this and uh, act accordingly. So what do you think about President Trump's plan to reopen the economy? He presented a three-phase plan today. You know what, I started going through that and I think it's interesting. I think that any, any consideration on reopening the economy should, have put, should put at the forefront human life. Look, we can reset monetary policy. We can delay the payments of loans. We can decrease interest. We can do a whole bunch of things, but you can't give somebody back their mother or their father or their brother or their sister or their husband or their wife. We need to value life in a way that puts it above everything else. And so I, I understand what they're saying, but I hope that when they're going through their deliber deliberations, that, that that weighs heavier than anything else. It definitely does um, down here in my neck of the woods. So, Mayor, we've come quite a way from the days that we were talking about the myth that uh, African-Americans yeah. couldn't get the virus. You, of course, uh, are the mayor of a city where it's predominantly African-American. Uh, do you see any misinformation in the community? Do you, what do you see happening amongst the African-Americans? Well, I think we saw a lot of it early, and that's why I wrote an op-ed for the local paper, and I said, hey, listen, not only can we get it, but we, we can get it, and it can actually, it'll be actually tougher on us because we have all these pre-existing conditions that they say, well, if people have these conditions, it'll adversely affect them, it'll affect them worse. And, and so you still see some of the stuff and you still see people um, sometimes acting irresponsibly and recklessly. But what we do is we try to uh, educate and correct as best possible. And we see people coming along and taking it seriously because as, as time goes on, as they know someone who's gotten sick and some of them unfortunately know someone who's passed away. Um, you start to really, it becomes an intimate concern for you and you start to look at it differently. So one of the keys to fighting the disease is testing. And we know your city has opened up Hard Rock Stadium as a place for testing and received yeah. a huge response. Who are you telling to get tested at this point? Oh, well, everyone right now. So at Hard Rock Stadium now, previously it was only first responders and uh, senior citizens who had symptoms. Now, we, we, we asked the governor and they accommodated this. The state has taken over the site and it's everyone who has symptoms of all ages, you can get tested at Hard Rock Stadium. And so we're encouraging people to get tested because a large component of whether or when we open up has to be testing. We, we can't have a whole bunch of people out there who are infected and don't know they're infected actually spreading uh, the virus to the community. And one more quick thing, if you have had the virus, what do you do then? Is there anything you can do to help? Well, you know what? There is something you can do to help. If you had the virus and you gotten over it, I just went on my social media and the city's gonna put this out there. If you've had the virus and you can, and you've recovered, you can donate your plasma. You know, there's this new treatment where, you know, one blood down here, they're taking people's plasma who's recovered and they're giving it to people who are, who are really critically ill and it's actually helping a lot of them a lot. So we're asking people to donate their plasma if they're recovered. And if you're going through this, listen, our prayers are with you. And, and while it, it won't be fatal to everyone, we all ought to take it like it could be fatal. 